all right so another very interesting new columns that we do add in power query and this one is even much more commonly used and much more useful than most of the uh, new columns that we usually create in power query it is one of the reasons why you may need to create some uh, new columns and that is creation of conditional columns in power query a conditional column in power query is a column that you create and the values that are going to be in that column depend on certain rules or certain conditions so for example we have this our data set here that is a fictitious data set really about some students and their grade points and our objective now is to classify these students into three categories based on their grade points right so for anyone who is scoring less than 2.0 grade points we are going to have a value of advised to withdraw from the school and then for anyone who is scoring anything less than 2.5, so that is basically, uh, apart from the first category, if you fall into a category where your grade point is less than 2.5, then the person's category is going to be fail, and then any other person above 2.5 is going to be graded as pass. So that's the condition, that's the rule. Now let's go to create that conditional column. So I'm going to go over to my add column tab and then i have to use my conditional column button right there so once i click conditional column everything from here is really easy and straightforward and as you know it we just need to complete the form right so starting with new column name so we're going to call this one student grade right so we've got the grade point now we have the actual grading and the actual grading is based on the grade points column so we are going to complete the form to say that if the grade point the first rule is if the grade point is less than two then the person is going to be advised to withdraw so we are going to say if the grade point is less than then for value i'm going to type in two and then the output is going to be advised to withdraw right i didn't spell that right so advised to withdraw then since we are not done with the rules now because this is only the grading for one of the rules there is another rule that says if the grade point is not within this category of less than two but it falls within the category of less than 2.5 then that is going to be classified as a failure so i'm going to click to add clause to say if grade point is less than 2.5 then that is going to be classified as a failure so i'm just going to type in here f a i l for fail now every other person really that is if someone doesn't fall within the category of less than two then the person may fall into the category of less than 2.5 now if any of this does not happen and we don't have any other rule that means we are simply going to complete the last part of the form which is the else part so if you don't fall within the first two categories then that is going to be graded as pass okay now once we are done completing this form i can go and click ok here and I have my new column classified into categories of pass, advice to withdraw, and fail. So if you look at it now, you are going to see that anyone that is graded as pass must be somebody that has scored above 2.5. And anyone that is graded as advice to withdraw must be somebody who has scored less than 2. While anyone that is graded as fail must be somebody who has scored above 2 but really less than 2.5.